Barry, there are plenty of care homes here in, in Mollins Lane, so another care home won't harm, harm the place, will it? A 68 bedroom one, I think, could be a disaster for the area. It's people like be perfectly honest, as you said, around the corner in Mollins Lane, there are several of them that are not fully utilised. <laughs> um, I can't see how a 68 bed one here can be fully utilised either. And if you think of a building of that size, standing there empty, all kinds of things could happen. You know, it, it's just, it really isn't worth looking at. I think you'll find that Thurrock Council itself spoke out against a, a very similar proposal in Averley on the similar size, if I'm not mistaken, and you know, I'm under the same pretense that they're not needed at this present moment in time. However, that's not the only reason. I mean, the, the, the residents here, just across the road here and just behind you, are not really happy about having something that's proposed as a four-storey building here, which is obviously going to remove some of their amenities and their privacy by, by overlooking them. I think the plan showed like something like what, 68 beds, up to 30 staff, and something like 23 parking spaces. Well, you know, do the maths yourself, there's going to be people coming out, in and out of here, visiting people, probably all hours of the day. Um, they're going to start parking on the streets, people are going to lose their own parking space. It, it's, it really isn't fair, to be perfectly honest, and in my opinion it's not the right, uh, not the right application we need for the Greenbelt. Well, I think the Greenbelt says you should have sort of almost the one for one. Okay, we don't want garages put back there, but we need something that's really not going to go up any higher. Maybe two, you know, two stories maximum, as the same as the properties are around here. Because it is a bit of an eyesore right now with those empty garages, so something must go there. <laughs> they're not empty. You know, some of them are, and I, I agree, but they're, they're, there are businesses being carried on in there. So, you know, and they don't, they're the business there and the residents seem to get on fine. You know, it, it's not a problem. I admit it doesn't look particularly clean and smart. And as I said, there, there was outline planning here for two story uh, flats, which I don't think would have met with too much um, opposition. In saying that, that, the work that's going on here, that is Mollins Lane, and it is what it said, it's a lane. You know, it can't cope with all the construction work and traffic that we're coming down here. If you just look up here, there's, a, there's another bend, and that's where the vehicle entrance is going to be, or supposed to be. We have ambulances coming in out there, which you will have on an account home. You know, there'll be an, that's an accident waiting to happen. And as you can see, the lane is reasonably sized here, but as it goes down here, it literally almost becomes one track, so you know, it, it just can't cope with it. Some people might say that you know, the Development Corporation had all these visions for the area, so to speak, and on too many occasions sort of NIMBY councillors come along and poo-poo it. Is that, is that what you're doing here? Well, I don't know if I'm NIMBY, but uh, <laughs> I'm not poo-pooing it. I, you know, I really don't, I have no problems with something going on here that does help the whole community. I don't want a 68-bed uh, property there that's going to stay empty. You know, we, we could have anybody staying there, you know. This, this area is... You know, it's a nice area that people get on with one another. They said, we, we, you know, we have small businesses there and people do put up with it. You know, they, they intermingle, it's not a problem. But to have something like that there, which you, know, you can see from here, have a look at that, two-storey property to a four-storey, it, it will just overshadow anything here. And the way the sun comes around as well, these probably people here will have their sun cut out completely. Do you think Ockenden's a sort of a... a, a crossroads with developments like Aristale Avenue and, yeah. and the, the Mount and the lorries going south road it seems is this typical of a sort of you've got to really keep a check on what's being built otherwise it could be could run away of itself definitely i mean yeah arisdale itself in, in in itself is is it's agreed it you know it, it's not a problem the lorries coming in and out of there for arisdale still not great but okay we can pull up with them if you consider the country park going in there is going to increase it 10 20 fold once again still not great but okay well let, let's try and find a way right around it. this here is just yeah, it's one too far, in my opinion. It's just one development too far that's not needed.